Hello, Blake Rudis here with F64 Academy and F64 Elite, and today I want to show you my favorite three new features of the Zone System Express 4.0. Okay, this is the extension that I've created, and with the new 4.0, there are so many new things that are awesome, but right now I just want to touch on three. All right, so I wanna show you the new Zone System 4, but I can't show you the Zone System 4 without showing you the Zone System 3.6, which was the last iteration that we're just coming off of here. So right here, this is the Zone System 3.6, okay? You can see that we've got tone, we've got color, we've got effects, and we've got workflow tools and layer tools. The new Zone System 4.0 takes this to a whole nother level, and it's the iteration I think I'm the most proud of. Now, I've hand-coded every single one of these buttons on this panel, so this is kind of like one of my babies, you know, like every single button you see here, every single image you see on here has all been created uh, specifically by me to create a comprehensive workflow tool, okay? I do not want you to confuse this with a luminosity masking panel because it's really not. It comes with the ability to do luminosity maskings, but its sole purpose is not luminosity masking, it's actually a workflow, kind of step-by-step -step kind of checklist that you can go through on top of also being a, a, a panel that you can push buttons to make things easier for you. So, my first absolute favorite new thing on the panel, because I did tell you I was gonna say my favorite three things are, I have added luminosity masks to the panel. You can see here we have LM darks, which is our luminosity mask for our darks, or kind of like an anti-luminosity mask, because it's not showing us the luminance, it's showing us the darkness. So it's like a dark mask, the luminance masks, and the mid-tones, okay? So the reason why I like this, and especially the way it's set up here, is we've got three basically presets for your traditional luminosity mask. So if I'm working on this image here, and I press luminosity mask lights, it's gonna go ahead and generate a luminosity mask for the light areas in the image, and basically your traditional luminance mask. Now you can see this is a Sony A7R2 RAW file, so it's a huge image with a lot of layers. Usually it doesn't take this long to merge those layers and create that but here is what our traditional luminosity mask would look like but the really cool thing about this especially with the zone system express panel is that it's it's making luminosity masking extremely simple okay we have our luminance mask we need to modify this because it's too much if we were to just come in here and start adjusting this luminosity mask it's too much it's it's too much all too fast so that's why there's this thing in here called tone mask refinement if you press this button, what it does is it gives you a levels adjustment, not for the whole image, but for that luminance mask. So if we come in here and do something like this, we can make that mask less of a selection for the area that, you, that we want. So we can get a really nice and defined selection. We can modify that contrast to make it a little bit brighter or a little bit darker, or we can even come in here and make, uh, make it have very little contrast and be one big white selection but that contrast does help us. So if we bring that into about here, we've made a nice little modification for this mask that now makes it a little bit more controllable. So as I move this now, it's really only only hitting those really light, light areas of my image. You can see the before and the after, and you can really see that on the petals and in the background there. So uh, with this new luminosity mask uh, adjustment here that's in the Zone System 4, uh, we now have basically eight different ways to make a mask. We have our traditional zones, zones 0 through zone 10. We have our condensed zone system, which is the whole system right here, or the individual condensed zones. And we have the luminosity masking for our lights, our darks, and our midtones. So that's four ways to make a mask. Coming over here to the color section, here's our fifth way with the individual colors, the sixth way with the entire color zone system, the seventh way with the analogous color zone system, and the eighth way with the custom color range that you can select. And again, you see here this color mask refinement. Now, any mask that's created from these colors can be modified just like we saw over here with the tone mask refinement. I was really excited to incorporate this into the zone system panel. So we have our traditional luminosity masking is very lightweight. That's the first thing that I think is one of my favorite things that's been added here. So the second thing that I'm really excited about with the zone system express Four is the curves modifiers and the entire curves panel that's been added here. Notice how these move independently. Okay. These areas here are tone color and effects. So we work through our image via, here we go. If we press alt or option, here's the before. 
here is after tone, here is after color, and these are technical tone and technical color adjustments. And then I start to work my way into some of the effect-based things that we can do in the Zone System Express. And you can see how beautiful this image went from being just a typical image straight out of Adobe Camera Raw that's not really that beautiful to something that's actually, I think, pretty wall-worthy now with lots of bright contrast and color in the right places. So you can see it's a workflow system. All of these things have been done with this panel. So my second favorite thing is if we go in with the individual uh, tones here. So I'll go ahead and I will make just these tones visible here. The curves modifiers are awesome. So if we go and we click on our zone zero and one, you see how this curve is set like this? Watch what happens because that's our darkest darks. I can brighten them up automatically right here by just pressing plus three and then negative three to darken them down. Look at the curve as this is happening. This is a automatic curves adjustment section that's been added here to the Zone System Express so that you can just work right through your masks. So you can set this to where we had it right here at about negative two, press the down arrow, go right to zone two and three and test to see if you want it brighter or darker or maybe get that S curve right down to zones four, five, and six. We have a nice S curve there, but what happens if we make them bright? What happens if we make them dark? We can easily click and see what's gonna happen with the adjustment that's happening with this mask right here, but on the curve automatically, very quickly, with the automatic curves masks. We can toggle that layer on and off so we can see what the difference is without it. We can reset that curve right here. We can also view what that curve would look like on our image and what it's going to be affecting in magenta we can turn it off so it's a, a very nice kind of like a heads-up display for modifying your curves adjustment layers on the fly it, it's awesome it's one of my favorite new things that has been added here into the zone system express now another one of my favorite things that's been added here is a new uh, dramatic radiance button in the effects area and if you've ever looked at this panel before uh, we have something called the radiance 2.0 so if we look at our layers palette here that's this right here and then we have our dramatic radiance now the thing about dramatic radiance that's different than from it compared to the Radiance 2.0. As you see with the Radiance 2.0, it kind of gives our image a soft edge kind of look. Well, the Dramatic Radiance doesn't give our image a soft edge look. It just increases the tonal contrast and the color contrast in the image in a very unique way that's 100% customizable for you without giving it that soft kind of blurry glow. But when they're used together to get that nice soft blurry glow and you bring in the Dramatic Radiance, uh, it's just, it's a phenomenal look on the photo. So if you look at our, our image, here's our before, here's with the tone and color adjustments, just these two simple things that were added to this image make it all uh, worth the while here for the beauty of the image. And then we obviously can continue on further. Now I did say I have three favorite things, but I do have, I guess, actually four, <laughs> okay? So if you've been following my channel for the last, I don't know, a couple months, I've been doing a lot with gradients. I even created a whole course just on gradients because I felt so moved by the gradient tools. Well, I've incorporated them here. So I've done a tutorial on the YouTube channel about the radial spotlight. There is now a radial spotlight here. If I press play on this little button here, I can move this around like a flashlight to highlight certain areas in the image. And it really just directs your eye right to this sunflower now or right to these leaves. Or, but it also, notice what it's doing there. It's protecting those highlight and those shadow areas very well. So we just get a really nice brightened look, almost like you're shining a flashlight on that area to get some, a little bit of fill light. Of course, because it's on a gradient layer, we can always increase or decrease that scale there to really pinpoint exactly where we want this to be. So you see right there, it's just hovering over that little leaf and now it's hovering over there. Now we can navigate around. It's really cool. I just have fun sometimes just dragging this thing around. Uh, but on top of that, we also have the color spotlight, which is going to add a hint of yellow and red color. But because it's on a gradient layer, it's already set up for you. You can change this color to any colors you want to increase the mood in your image very quickly. Uh, so, you know, when it comes down to workflow, I always say tone, color, artistic effects, right? Tone, color, effects, tone, color, effects. Well, we've done tone. We've done color, and there's even some effects in here, right here in the Zone System Express panel that are really, really powerful. Uh, there's the deep spot, and the deep spot kind of gives you a mixture of the radial gradient that we have in there, plus the color spotlight. 
And you know, when you do this, if you say, okay, that is, is kind of nice, but it's really dark. Well, if you press okay here, you can always come down here and you can reduce it. Right now the fill is at 20% here, but I can drop the opacity down to 50% or 30% or the like, and, and really get that effect where I want it to dialed in right there on the panel and not have to worry too much about going into the layers palette because again, it's all 100% control inside the panel itself. I've been busy. <laughs> I've been really busy. So I started creating the Zone System 4.0, which is the update to the version 3.6 in April. But as I was building upon it and building upon it, I realized that this needs all new education to go with it and everything. So the entire Zone System Express 4.0 uh, has been rebuilt from the ground up and so has all of the education to go with it. So, you know, this is one of my babies. Uh, it really, it, I nurture it, I feed it, I let it grow and it's all the possibilities of it are always uh, surprising me, just like my kids do. Imagine how that works. But I just wanted to share it with you and let you know what my favorite features are in this panel. It's kind of hard for me to do that because I coded the entire thing myself from the things that I do within my workflow. So uh, I'm proud of it and I hope you are too. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this. If you're interested in the Zone System Express 4.0, you can follow the link that is in the description or use the little card here that's going to pop up in the upper right hand corner to tell you more about the Zone System Express 4. Thanks for taking the time to watch this. I do appreciate it. Mm -hmm.